Hi dear friends, is there really justice in our universe? If there is, is it always present in every aspect of our lives? And how can a just ecological balance can be built? You may be asking how these questions came across my mind. I was thinking about how those old vinyl records recorded and then played sounds. And I found myself going on a journey through our inner world and the universe. Most of us only saw these records or gramophones from movies. Although it is an old piece of technology, it managed to survive to this day. Partly because of its sound quality and partly because of its nostalgic atmosphere. They also have their place in my childhood memories. Later on, when I learned about how these records worked in my physics class, I was surprised by the fact that music was literally carved onto them. You may be too. Simply put, the sound is recorded by taking its physical properties and carving them onto a record in circles. This is essentially a form of coding. When you look at the record with a magnifying glass, you will see that the lines go left and right forming waves, a needle that vibrates roughly 18,000th time a second goes over these lines. While the needle moves on its path, the vibrations it makes are collected by a magnetic mechanism and are turned into electrical signals which finally are turned into sound. The exact opposite of this process is used to carve music onto records. We can't draw sounds onto a surface by hand, but we are masters of forming these sounds by mouth. In fact, we make these sounds reflexively. In other words, the sounds we make are the results of a chain of movements our vocal cords, throat muscles, tongues, noses, and teeth make. Also, we can't leave out the air molecules. They vibrate with such harmony and precision that they are almost dancing while passing sounds and melodies onto each other. So, do we only make sound waves around us? No, our countless emotions like anger, fear, anxiety and love form different kinds of waves around us. Besides, some of these waves like some soothing music. There are also ones that are really annoying, like musical notes that find harmony in measure and balance. Our emotions find beauty in balance, and when the balance in our emotions is lost, they turn into hundreds of psychological problems like high anxiety and anger issues. The key word here is balance. Just like how those harmonious and balanced musical pieces are incurred into the records as perfect straight lines, our harmonious and well-balanced reactions to our surroundings change according to different circumstances. They are not straight lines, they are complex patterns. This is possible because all our feelings and emotions work with each other harmoniously and form a balance. We can say this with comfort, just like how our physical body subconsciously takes care of itself and has to sustain a delicate balance, our mind and soul have a balance just as delicate. Balance is in the core of all beings and creation. Balance and proportion are two very important terms of aesthetic, beauty, functionality and structure. Let's talk about proportion and measurements in engineering. To be able to make a plane fly or build a bridge, engineers have to bring different proportions and measurements together. Making cars, planes, buildings and tools with such aesthetic is possible by considering and evaluating everything from every shape in the design to the type and measurements of all the materials that are being used. Still, all these things that we humans build are so simple when compared to all those wonderfully designed creatures in nature, living and lifeless. Each being in the universe has wondrous properties in their design. All these different kinds of creatures from the seas to the sky are balanced and measure applied masterfully. But we don't need to go that far to see miraculous design. We can just look into our own bodies. Just the fact that our teeth are specially designed for their functions like cutting, tearing and crushing is enough to leave us in awe. And when we look at ourselves, which act like micro-robots, 
or even smaller parts of our body, our levels of all become even more. Another field these concepts are heavily applied to is justice systems. Justice and law, when gazed upon lightly, may look like an area that has a limited amount of balance and measures that apply to it. But, in fact, the application of balance in the justice system is an infinite as the amount of conflict or controversy we humans can have between us. In this sense, the justice system is more like a form of art than a mathematical functions with set parameters and results. This is also why one of the symbols of justice is a scale. Justice needs to have certain balances. This is why some people consider the perfect application of balance as justice. And we are going to consider justice as one of the core principles in the structure of our universe and try to analyze the representations of justice we come across in our world. All beings through all ecosystems across the world have been going on their lives for millions of years. Countless beings have been calling dangerous junglers their homes for generations, even though they have countless enemies in there. This is made possible by the various well-balanced survival features they have been given like camouflage, how they move and get around the world or the ways they reproduce. When all the beings are taken into consideration, this balanced relation between all these creatures becomes so complex that it is really hard or impossible to wrap our heads around. For example, besides many of the features of fish, let's look at how the amount of eggs a fish will lie is determined. For a species of fish to survive, they need to lay a certain amount of eggs. Generally, this amount can be millions per fish per laying, but most of the time from all these eggs, only a few hundreds of them reach adulthood. The ratio of the eggs that are laid and the number of fish that reach adulthood is so delicate that it can't be roughly estimated. Because in the ecological balance, an extra increase in the population of a species will turn the balance upside down and may even cause the extinction of other species. So, determining how much a species will reproduce is a delicate calculation that needs to consider all factors. Examples of justice in our world isn't limited with this. Justice which means the masterful application of certain balances, proportion, ratios and measurements is everywhere. For example, some of our Earth's physical features like its size, curvature, speed, distance from the Sun and its core is formed as a result of very precious calculation. For example, if the Earth was a tiny bit smaller, it wouldn't be able to hold its atmosphere together. Scientists say this is one of the reasons the Moon doesn't have an atmosphere. The Earth's spin has a 23.5 degree tilt, which the seasons we know depend on to exist. If it was tilted a tiny bit differently, there wouldn't be any seasons or they would be much different. These systems of justice that are full balance cannot be a result of coincidence. And the fact that our always changing universe is sustained through justice points to the existence of an all-powerful and wise creator and shows that creator's incredible sense of justice. Dear friends, I want to conclude today's thought journey with a couple of questions. In a universe full of justice, isn't it contradictory for some human beings with their free will to go outside this ecological balance? If some people aren't applying the balance we observe in the universe to their lives, wouldn't they face natural and legal consequences? Doesn't the delicate and precious balance in the creation require for people that use their will and power unproportionately and harm nature and other people around them to face the consequences of their actions someday. Dear friends, please don't forget to subscribe to our channel, like our videos and share them with your loved ones. If you would like to support us on Patreon, you can click the link in description or click the Patreon button on our YouTube homepage. Goodbye.